Welcome to Money Wisdom, sponsored by Johnson Brunetti. I'm Natasha Lubchenko, here with tips on smart ways to manage our money is Eric Kogarth, certified financial planner and Johnson Brunetti partner. Eric, thanks for being here. Thanks, Natasha. Great to see you. Great to see you as always. So the new year is quickly approaching, 2022. I can't even believe it. And you say uh, that with the new year, there are things we need to evaluate when it comes to our finances, you know, make sure we are on the right track. So let's start with number one. You say it's open enrollment time. So what should we consider here? Did you get a raise? Is it time to put more money in your 401k? You know, if, if you're not at a point yet where you're maxing that out, and I realize how that sounds, well, Eric, easier said than done. I get, okay. The best way to do that, no one goes from saving nothing to saving the max, is to incrementally increase it. So try and, you know, try and just put in a little bit more if you can. Um, and absolutely, if you are not saving money into your employer-sponsored 401k plan, start doing it. You know, if, if you're getting a match, like if you're getting a, for every dollar, dollar for dollar up to 3%, that is a 100% rate of return on your money. That is literally free money. There are 401k plans like ours that even if the employee does not put money into it, the employer still does. And still, not everyone signs up for it. So make sure you're taking advantage of these benefits of your employer because they're they're great. Um, so be looking at what you're adding. Uh, be also thinking about the taxes of it. Do you want to make those Roth contributions? So yep. take a look. That's a no-brainer right there, and this is the time of year to do that. And now uh, going into 2022, you say that taxes may be higher. What should we know here? Taxes are going up because I love Connecticut, but you know, and, and we, we focus on Connecticut. We talk federally, taxes are going to go up. You read about this stuff every day. What does this mean for me? It means that taxes are probably going up. So not something to panic about, but take a look at what you're doing. Take a look at what money you're paying taxes on. You know, I'll talk to someone who has a CD come due that has to run around and talk to all the banks about what tragically awful CD rate they're now going to get, but they're not even looking at the tax side of it, that you're paying taxes on that interest rate as ordinary income. And no offense to the bank, I think everyone should have money in a bank, but we shouldn't be investing our money into CDs because that doesn't work. But let's look at how much of your money you're actually keeping. And fast forward to retirement, you know, does it make sense to be saving in a Roth? I know it hurts right now, I know it's a squeeze, but let's talk about it because uh, talk to someone who's about to retire and they're gonna owe taxes on all their money. What if that was tax free? looks a lot different so all right Eric and finally here going into the new year you say we should be checking our mortgage interest rates why yeah yes because they're the lowest that they've literally ever been you know and again let, let's let talk about um, tax planning is that the ability to itemize your taxes for a lot of people went away it went away when the standard deduction was doubled and then also in that moment, the, the salt tax exemption, which is the state and local tax, got capped, which puts a squeeze on you if you happen to live in a state that has, you know, high property tax and income tax like ours of Connecticut. That's the reality. So what I'm getting at is you might not be writing off your mortgage interest. You're probably not. Um, it might still make sense to have one if that rate's real low. But if you're not sure what your rate is, you need to know what it is. Should you be making extra payments? Maybe. Maybe not in a rush to pay it off but make sure that you're getting the most competitive rates, certainly if you're gonna live there for a long time. All right, all important things to consider when looking ahead here. And now, Eric, what special offer do you have for our viewers today? Special offer that we have for our viewers is the glossary of common financial terms. You should know what these things are. And when we talk about planning and or even like a book, you know, we, we, we talk about books all the time and you can get it at moneywisdomtv.com. You know, people say that about me or, or my business partner, Joel, as they listen to us or they, they read the things that we're advocating is that they're straightforward, simple advice, which it should be. You know, if, if I send you a thousand page dissertation on this stuff, no one's going to read it. And it's just overwhelming. It's too much. You know, so it's glossary of common financial terms, things that you should be aware of. You know, is, is the interest rate in my mortgage good? Is it bad? You know, am I do I have a prepayment penalty? Do I not? You know, am I paying mortgage insurance that I don't want to be paying for? You, you don't want that if you're being forced to pay for it. Mortgage life insurance is not a bad thing. But anyway, this this book will walk you through some of those things. Again, it's totally free. MoneyWisdomTV.com is where you can get it. All right, definitely a great place to start. Eric Hogarth from Johnson Brunetti, thank you so much for your time today. And again, if you would like to learn more and to receive this offer, go to MoneyWisdomTV.com. For CT Style, I'm Natasha Lubchenko, and we will see you next time.